Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to Rail Routes. Now, today we're going to be doing something that I wanted to do last time, but I didn't know how, but now I know, so we're going to do it. Now, if you don't know, this is a fantastic game here that's still under development. Uh, I've got a preview version here, and if you want to have a go at this, the demo is available out on Steam. And of course, early access is not really that far away now. But here we go, this is our route and rails that we've got so far. We've got uh, three big stations across the middle, we've got an extra one down here at Columbia, which is just a, a little one at the moment, but has the potential to grow a lot more. And we've also got East Market up there, which has a little freight every now and then. It's a bit bit rubbish really, to be honest. We, maybe we can do better with that. Now, last time, all the way through last episode, I was struggling because I didn't have enough automation. Our network is getting f bigger and it's getting busier and I'm not able to compensate with more automation. What we're going to do that now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to system upgrades and it's this route queuing that I want. Okay, so this upgrades the auto signals that we've got on parts of our network and it allows us to do procedural route, which is basically whenever a train comes, go there. And autos, uh, and also the, 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 the ability to queue routes. So if the way is not clear, you can, it doesn't matter. You put the route in anyway and that will be the next route. These two things are going to help us out quite a bit. Now, there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is, is this is going to cost us five uh, advanced experience points. And we've only got three. The good news is, is that over here in contracts, you can do this click me and it converts uh, red ones to green. So you can see you pay one red one, you get five green. Or how to get red ones well we can pay 15 green ones and get one red one now ideally we want to put a coach yard in and start dealing with freights but i don't feel like our network's ready for that i want to expand and and, and really get what we've got going working better and i really really want route queuing so we're going to do this we're going to upgrade to get rid of 15 green and uh we'll get one red there we go so we're now down to 96 now you can't upgrade again straight away but if you click on it again then it lets you i think the idea behind that is this that you don't accidentally click upgrade more than once if you don't want to so here we go pop and now we've got the five advanced experience that we need we're going to go over to automation route queuing and upgrade now I've already had a little play with this, and once you realise that you have to control click on the signal to uh, actually access those features, then it's brilliant. It really is. And um, it, do, it does say though, it actually clearly states it here, uh, where is it? Automation clearly states it over here in the information panel, use control click to select the signal. So. Let's have a look and see what the situation is. So at East Market, we want to make sure it's set to auto accept trains. I don't know why it isn't. All the other stations are set to auto accept trains. Brilliant. We've also got 102 grand in the bank, so we can add some more auto signals. Now, at the moment, most of our trains, I think, are going to Brentwood Platform 1. And I think what we'll do is we'll bring them in at two and we'll have number one for the intercity fast train. So at the minute, that train's already um, routing to Brentwood one. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this signal here as an example. So if I control click on the signal, you can see down here, we've got routes and, um, and queued routes. So now normally I wouldn't be able to do a route on this signal because there's a train in the way. But if I wanted to, I could route to platform two. We get a little number one signal next to the actual um, signal symbol. We get a number one symbol next to the signal. And you can see the route is now queued there. And if I wanted to, I could make that infinite. So it always sends trains to platform two. I don't want to do that. Let's get rid of that. 
Okay, which means that we're going to need some more auto signals, I think. So up here we're looking okay. Yep, yeah, that's okay. So let's just let's just unpause and see how things are going. So a lot of these signals that we've got are going to we're not probably going to use the procedural very much, but for example, whenever we come to this signal, we can choose what platform. Oh, we've got some helpful hints. We have reached the limit of five contracts. Okay, I, I was aware of that, so that's fine. What we need to do is have a look at what contracts we can add into our pile. So let's have a look. So we've got an intercity offering between uh, Riverdale, Benning and Brentwood, which could be good actually. Riverdale, Brenning, Brentwood, because we're not using uh, platforms one and two at the moment because they're three platforms. So as long as we've got room in our schedule at Riverdale, that's fine. And actually, it doesn't stop at Riverdale, so we can probably slip that in right now. Let's try it. So here we go. Now it's saying a uh, recurrent contracts. Uh, it's a good job we've accepted our first recurrent contract. It's not actually our first, it's our first since this tip was added. So these tips have been added and to me these tips have filled that small gap between what was obvious and what wasn't. So there's some interesting information here like uh, you'll get the first train, it's a trial that will determine how much money you get. Um, try and handle it as fast as possible so you get more money. And then you'll get a new train every 60 minutes on the timetable. Cool. We can optimize or reject it later. Cool. Um, you won't uh, you won't receive experience points for delayed trains. Okay. So we're going to accept the intercity train on platform two. And it's going to pass through. And I'm going to pre-approve that to go into platform one. Now, I haven't got an auto signal coming out of platform one. It would probably be nice to do that. But I, I know I want some automatic sim signals around Columbia. So let's do some upgrades and change some of these to auto signals. So that one, that one, and that one, auto signals. Now, at the moment, that's the only direction we've got trains going through, but you never know. We might have trains coming the other way, so we'll put them as auto signals as well. That's taken up about half of our money, but it's fine. So this intercity train should just go straight through that station. It's not going to stop. It's going to go platform one. And then when, it get, when it's ready to leave Benning, we'll have to route it out. I guess really... Really, that should be an auto signal, and should, so should that one. We're running a little low on money, but don't worry, we'll be fine. Right, what's happening on the contracts? So we've got another intercity one here, Riverdale, Columbia, Brentwood. So actually, I've just done the signals for that. So we just have to make sure we've got room for it in the timetable. So we'll do that one soon, because it's another intercity. Look, we've got a train arriving here on platform one at Riverdale, but that's fine. It will stop and that intercity will pass in plenty of time. In fact, it's almost ideal to set the intercity going at the same time as the commuter train, because the commuter train will stop at the station and the intercity won't. Right, this commuter train wants to leave here now, so we can actually say, OK, get up here and come down to platform two. If you're not routing to platform two, I want you to be platform two, because we're able to adjust timetables now. Right, what's this? Why have we got a train sat there facing that way? Riverdale platform one, yeah, Benning, yeah, Riverdale platform four. Is it just facing the wrong way? I think it's early. I think soon it'll be leaving. Okay, um, so at the moment we're not using any... Oh, here we go. We can now clear that train to go to platform... No, wait, not platform two. Platform three. When it wants to go. Brilliant. Now, I need to keep an eye on that contract. We'll let it... 
we'll let the intercities come out at like the, maybe the five minute part marks what else have we got so that's a good intercity one potentially We've got another intercity one, Brentwood, Columbia, Revendale. Ah, oh, this is another Columbia one. So we just need for a gap when it's clear to come out at Brentwood. Which would be platform three. Let's have a look at the timetable. Platform three. Hmm. I think we're actually good to receive a train on platform three right now. So let's accept that one on platform three. And we're going to clear you to this block here, then to that platform, then to that one. And actually, we're just going to get rid of that and re-clear it. And we've got a train arriving on platform two. I don't want it arriving on platform two. In the future, that train needs to arrive on platform three moving things around here just to make some small improvements and it's important but it's okay we'll be all right we'll be able to let that train leave no problem once it's got to Brentwood which it has I can now say look in future come out on platform three please and when you come back come back to platform two so after this Columbia train's been through we can queue it to go here and then actually queue it to go there I think I think I did that right. So hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> right. Um, the intercity train has arrived at Benning and our commuter train is coming in as well. It's getting a bit busy, but we'll be all right. I think with these extra contracts, the money's really going to start rolling in and then we can really do some fascinating upgrades. Okay, I think we can probably cope with going a little bit faster in a moment but let's just see with loads of intercities coming through um intercity going from riverdale uh, columbia brentwood yeah that's the one i wanted to do quite soon we'll give it a minute or so and then we'll start that one off what else have we got another riverdale columbia brentwood oh but it no, it pays about the same okay Things are really busy at Brentwood at the moment. We've got so many trains arriving on Platform 3 at the moment. I don't think we can fit another Intercity train in. Um, oh, hang on a minute. The Intercity train's waiting to leave. So we, we're we letting that Intercity train go. And we're queuing this one. The Intercity train, I want to go to Platform 1. I don't know what the queue on this signal is. Brentwood Platform 2. No, let's cancel that because it's the Intercity coming train next and I want, I want that to go to Platform 1. No idea why that Benning train's going round the outside like that. That's a bit ridiculous. Just go straight. Oh, well, never mind. It's fine. Uh, when this train's ready to go, it can, and that can go to platform four. And when this train's ready to go, oh, hang on, I've already done that order. I've done that order twice. I'm waiting for this train to get out of the way, and then the intercity will be able to route through. Cool. See, it's all it's all fine. I'm just getting the hang of it. But this extra queuing of routes is brilliant right I think we can afford the time to put an intercity out at Riverdale so Riverdale, Columbia, Brentwood except except on platform 2 and we're clearing you to come straight down to this block through platform 2 through that block and then to here we'll make you wait there All these intercity trains going through Columbia is going to be fantastic. We're going to get loads of money, maybe. I don't know. Probably. Probably. Uh, we do need probably to add some extra platforms to platform uh, to Columbia. So the idea was is that I was thinking I'd save platforms 1 and 4 for when we have 
Um, commuter trains coming through. But we'll see about that. Maybe we can make them reversible. I'm not sure. So it looks like we've got everything here. This we're going to have to cancel. Let's do the routing as soon as possible. Oh, the intercity can't come through. Well, we'll cancel this train's um, order and we'll stack it behind the intercity. We'll let the intercity through first. There we go. That's going all right. All the trains are leaving Banning. And what other contracts have we got? Loads of intercities. Landover. Where's Landover? There. Landover. Passing Landover. Columbia and Bentwood passing. I mean, I would like to connect in these other places, but I want us to build up a bit more money. So maybe next episode we'll get two more stations in on the network. That would be really good, wouldn't it? Oh, what's this? We've got an intercity with a red jobby. So this is a one-off contract. Passing Riverdale. Going to Columbia. And then to Brentwood. Yeah, we'll have that one-off contract. We'll just make sure we can fit it in at Riverdale. We'll give, we'll, we'll give it until five past four, I think. And then we'll set it on its way. We'll, we'll accept that contract. So you see, because of the um, route stacking and so forth, the uh, this uh, commuter 33 train is coming to platform four, and it's been cleared to do so. So when it gets there, it'll be all right. And then we've got this zero uh, three train behind the intercity, which should be okay. So after the intercity train, we want the next train to go to platform two. We just want to check this commuter train that it is actually wanting to go to platform two. So that's fine. So yeah, that's good. I, I like this network. It's working out quite well. There's a few little quirks, and I'm looking forward to expanding it. But so far, it's looking really good. Okay, let's start picking up the pace a little bit. Now we're getting the hang of these signals. So we're going five times speed. We've got a new uh, intercity train here going to Columbia. Uh, we can clear that one straight away to here, 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 and there. And then we've got... Oh, hang on. What's going on this? Uh, we only got three grand. That's not the best, but I'll take it anyway. <laughs> um, and then Riverdale, we've got this commuter train, so I'm going to clear that for platform three. And I'm going to clear this one to come out as well. Looks like we're all good on that point. Yeah, and then we've got where's this one-off one? Here it is. Are we we're not ready for the one-off one yet. No, we're not. We're not ready for the one-off one yet. And we've got our new commuter train at Brentwood. We can clear that one. Why is it wanting to go around this weird route? Oh, I've got an idea track whoa that is a little tiny graphical bug isn't it what have I broken I'm sorry developer I oh my goodness oh uh oh uh oh uh oh unoccupied I know I know it is but I'm not able to get back to the tool quick save the game as a separate save and then load the game to see if it fixes it. Oh no! Oh. Right, auto save. Restart the game. Okay, folks. Not sure what happened there, but uh, reloading the game fixed the problem, so we can now get our track in. So what I'm going to do, uh, I need to change the speed of this track that I'm using, is we're going to do this. I think so that I don't think we need I don't think we need that bit there connected I'm not 100% sure but now when I do this banning train it'll route there properly 
that's much better. And also, we want to consider doing track upgrades. So that's an intercity line, and this is an intercity line as well. But, um, okay, let's carry on. Let's carry on and finish off this little bit here. We've got a new train coming in there. That's cleared. That one's gone clear. All our trains have got routes that they need, except this intercity one here. Let's say, come on, Intercity, you can come through Platform 3. You're clear to, to go through now. Brilliant. Uh, what time is it in-game? Okay, so we've got a few more minutes until we're doing this special Intercity service. Uh, let's have a look at the contract. Hmm. According to this, it's actually only staying there for like a minute. So that's that's not a problem. Okay, five times speed, let's do this. So, you can see now that now this commuter 3 3 train is cleared from platform four. The signal's moved over. We've got a new contract, three and a half grand. I'm happy with that. And overall, we're doing okay. We've got three grand for that one completing. And then this intercity, I'm going to clear for platform one as soon as it comes out. And this down to platform four, because I think this river, uh, the train to Riverdale here leaving is probably going to get there before the intercity train does. Then this commercial uh, commuter one will go to platform two when it's ready. Yeah, it will. And then this is a Columbia Intercity, Intercity train next. So we'll clear that for platform three. Ah, another contract here of three and a half grand. Yeah, we'll have that. And then I think, yeah, it's about time that we did our one-off contract. Yeah, let's accept this one-off contract. So we've got a train... We've got a one-off contract. This is this is our first one-off contract since the hint was added. Your first one-off contract, you only need to dispatch one train for this contract, uh, but it has a predefined schedule. No trial needed. Just comply with the schedule and get the rewards. Okay. So, Riverdale, uh, Platform 2. You are immediately cleared to come down to Columbia. Oh, hang on. Was it Columbia that you wanted? Yes, it was Columbia. Okay, uh, this intercity train clear for platform three. You can come out of there and go to platform two when it's clear. Although your schedule says one, it's not one. You need to go to platform two. Your timetable does. So there we go. So we've got one intercity train coming out of platform two, one coming into platform three. The commercial train's just arrived at platform one, but that's fine because that needs time to sit there before it goes to platform three of Benning. See? This is no problem at all. And now platform two at Brentwood's available. The, that signal's gone green as well for this um, commuter 71 train. So I'm quite happy with the way that's all moving. All right, uh, contracts. Uh, another intercity train. Have we got any more one-off ones? Oh, we've got one-off freight. Uh, this one wants to sit for quite a while at Benning, and then quite a while at Benning. No, I'm not having a freight train sat at Benning. We'll decline that. Uh, we've got an intercity here that doesn't go to a station we haven't got, so uh, we'll decline that. Wow, 13 grand for a Brentwood Columbo Revendale intercity. Yes, please. Let's clear that train to come up to here, and then when it's clear. Uh, we'll also tell it it can go to platform one. We've got a Benning train here. And we've got the Freight East Market. That is a that is a nice little contract there. Uh, we need to find a space where that can come out. Maybe at um, 425. Yeah, 425. There's a tiny gap there. Okay, let's continue. Now, I'm a little bit worried that this intercity train is going to be waiting behind some other uh, commuters, but I think we're okay. 
and clear you for platform four because I think you're going to arrive before the intercity train. Are you? Or do we need to switch that around so the intercity train goes first? No, intercity train can go after you. Okay, that's all good. Yeah, the intercity train. Oh, hang on. Have I approved it to go there? Oh, no. I forgot one of the steps for the intercity train, and now it's a mess. Right, Brentwood. Uh, no gap in the contract uh, in the timetable yet for that new contract. We have got this freight here to sit around at Brenning. Uh, we're not having that. It's a bad, bad place for things to sit around. Fantastic. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Right, what we will do is we will accept that new contract before the end of the episode. And here is the train before we're going to let it out. So let's approve that one for platform four. And approve this one to come for platform two. It doesn't want to go for platform two, but I'm telling it is. It should. I don't think we need this little link junction here. Um, and I don't want to have bits of track that we don't need. If we don't need it, I'm taking it out. Uh, okay, this one has been waiting a little bit. My bad. I need to pay attention to that. We need also the auto dispatches and stuff, but to get them and unlock them, yeah, the dispatch center, we need five of the advanced experience points. And that's what I want to do next time. I want to get the dispatcher and I want to add a new station. So hopefully we can get stuff coming through here, especially these one-off contracts. I mean, if we get loads of the green ones, then that's fine. We can just convert them until we get better things later. Maybe we can actually put dedicated freight stuff in at certain places. I don't know. Like places like... I don't know. Got me thinking now. There we are. Commuter Train 50 is on its way to Platform 3 at Benning. And what's the timetable like in Brentwood? Yep, this is the perfect opportunity to bring in this 13,000 intercity. Brentwood, Platform 3, please. All trains arrive at Platform 3 for Brentwood and will clear you immediately on your route. We won't clear the end of the route yet because we don't know how that's going to interact with the other trains. There we go. I wonder how much we're going to get from that contract. Let's see if we can just push up the speed a little bit without me having any problems. And then we'll see how much we get from that contract. Oh, it's getting busy around here. Look, we've got to wait for Platform 4 and we've got to wait for Platform 3 at Benning. And we've got an intercity train coming through. That's going to get interesting. Okay. So, Platform 4 is now available. We've got a few seconds until that one leaves. These two are probably going to cross over just fine. Then afterwards, we can then clear the intercity to come through. So, actually, that all works very nicely. That worked very nicely indeed. The only question now is is whether the commuter train from Benning is going to um, get in the way of this intercity. And I think I'm going to cancel the intercity and allow the commuter train first. Because it's ready to roll. That might have been a bad decision because our intercity is going to have to stop for a moment. Didn't have to stop for too long, though. What did we... Oh, what, 28%. That, was, that wasn't great. <laughs> but what we'll do now is that we will accept that. Because what we're going to start doing is declining the contracts for things that are less money. That will make us gaps in the schedule and able to accept more things in the future. So we will accept that for now. And there for now... That is going to be all. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, uh, we're going to be trying to do 
um, more freight, another station. We're going to do um, station dispatching and all that sort of stuff next time. I'm really looking forward to it. Hope you are enjoying the series. If you are, please leave a comment down below. If you've got any questions for me, uh, do consider putting that in there as well. And also, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so for more content like this. Um, lots of simulation games, other things like it, and trains as well. Uh, that's all from me for now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.